okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 3. Last episode, we tried to find this lake monster to make some money, but it didn't work out that way because the lake monster we were trying to find was really a robot that a crazy old man made to get some attention from his son. Yeah, that sounds crazy, don't it? That really sounds ridiculous, but that's what he did. And not only that, he's been doing this for years. He's really been out here creating robotic monsters to get some attention. Like, I don't understand that. That's why everybody think he's crazy and don't want to be around him because he really is. But the good thing about that whole situation, the kids got closer to their uncle, so that's good. And it did turn out that there was really a lake monster down there. But yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to see this episode, though. If you want to see my reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. Now I'm afraid your services won't be required here, sir. <laughs> She's knitting. <laughs> he said, girl, do not touch my popcorn. <laughs> the hell? Duck detective. I'm done. Duck is a genius. I have very keen powers of observation. For example, just by smelling your breath, I can tell that you have been eating an entire tube of toothpaste. It was so sparkly. I don't. Mabel, You'll get it together. Very treasure. Very. <laughs> when I found the secret door hidden behind the wallpaper, it's crazy, bonkers, creepy. <laughs> Whoa, it's a secret wax museum. It's so lifelike. Except for that one. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, your Grunkle Stan. <laughs> and now for my personal favorite, Wax Abraham Lincoln. Oh, right over. Oh, oh, oh no, come on. Who left the blinds open? You probably did. John Wilkes Booth, I'm looking in your direction. <laughs> What do you think of my wax figure idea? She's part fairy princess and part horse fairy princess. Mabel. Mm, maybe you should carve something from real life. Mabel, please. Like a <laughs> with big please. arms. Okay, or, you know, something else. Like, like someone in your family. Kids, have you seen my pants? Oh, Muse, you work in mysterious ways. Why'd your sister talk to the ceiling? Okay, Mabel, she getting to work. What the? Ha! Ah! Why did she lick the paint? It needs more glitter. Oh, it looks good from this angle. I found my pants, but now I'm missing my. <laughs> what do you think? I think the wax museum's back in business. Okay, then it must look real good then. Okay, Mabel. Do your thing. <laughs> Yo, I haven't had a corn dog in so long. Showed up. You all know me, folks. Town darling, Mr. Mystery. Please Let me know you. Control yourselves. <laughs> As you know, Nobody want you anyway. <laughs> no matter how the lady looks. Look. The likes of which the world has never known. But enough about me. Behold. Me! Okay. Looks a little goofy, yeah, but yeah, she did yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now a word from our own Mabel Angelo. Oh Mabel. my gosh. Thank you for coming. I made this sculpture with my own two hands. It's covered in my blood, sweat, tears, and other fluids. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I will now take questions. You there. Old man, look you That's gross, Mabel. Are the wax figures alive and follow-up question? Can I survive the wax man uprising? Toby determined Gravity Falls gossiper. Do you really think this constitutes a wonder of the world? Your microphone's a turkey baster, Toby. It certainly <laughs> is. Next question. Chandra Jimenez, a real reporter. Your flyers promised free pizza with admission to this event. Is this true? That's what I heard. Jimmy! Oh, pizza? I want my pizza. That was a typo. Good night, everyone! That was a typo. You... <laughs> Well, everything on that flyer was a typo. <laughs> you can put a pizza on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, she needs some therapy. Well. She is too angry for what? Well 
detective. It seems you've really quacked the case. <laughs> Patronize me. Uh, stupid duck. Well, Dipper, you want to do a toothbrush race? Okay. No. 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 The hell's Black going on? He's been murdered. They decapitated my dog. Oh, <sighs> oh please. <laughs> I get up to use the John, right? And when I come back, blammo! He's headless. Let the boy help. He's got a little brain up in his head. Ooh, would well, you look at what we got here? City boy thinks he's gonna solve a mystery with his fancy computer phone. City boy, city boy, <laughs> you are adorable. Adorable? Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> look, PJ. How about you leave the investigating to the grown-ups, okay? Attention, all units. Y'all just said it was unsolvable. The murderer could have been anyone. Yeah, even us. In this town, anything. It was obviously Those not y'all. <laughs> Mabel, shut up. Footprints in the shag carpet. That's weird. They've got a hole in them. And they're leading to the wax sculpture got a hole in his shoe. So what do you think? In my opinion, this is an axe. Wait a minute. The lumberjack. Of, of course. course. <sighs> I don't think it seems too obvious. When he didn't get that free pizza. Serious enough for murder. Hey, give me a hand with this coffin, will you? I'm doing a memorial service for Wax Stan. Something small but classy. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Grunkle Stan, but we've got a big God, break in the case. Much. <laughs> We're heading into town right now to interrogate the murderer. We have an axe. Free, free. <laughs> got the fake IDs? Here goes nothing. Sorry, but we don't serve minors. He got tattoos. I can't. We're here to interrogate Manly Dan the Lumberjack for the murder of Wax Dan. Works for Why me. is Dipper... Why was Dipper 45 in his license? He's resting. Alright, let's just try to blend He's in. Definitely okay? not. You got it, Dipping He got his ass knocked out. Hey there, or murdered. I was punching that clock. Ten o'clock, the time of the murder. So I guess well, you've well, never seen this before. Listen, little girl. Hey, actually, I'm. I wouldn't pick my teeth with that axe. It's left-handed. I only use my right hand. And it looks way too small for him to carry too. You know, these are all our suspects. Manly Dan is right-handed. That means all we gotta do is find our left-handed suspect, and we've got our killer. Well. That's not you. <laughs> you kids better be right about this, or you'll never hear the end of it. The evidence They're probably wrong as hell. It's so irrefutable. Ah! Nobody move! This is a raid! <laughs> what is this? Some kind of raid? Shut up! You have the right to remain impressed with our awesome detective work. Where were you the night of the break in? <laughs> Finally, we can be alone. Cardboard cutout of female news reporter Chandra Jimenez. Oh my gosh. What a creep. Timestamp confirms it. Toby, you're off the hook, you freak of nature. Hooray. <laughs> but it has to be him. Boy, I'd be pretty embarrassed if I was you two. <laughs> First of all, you should be embarrassed. You freak. <laughs> Kids, Zeus. Lifeless wax figures. Thank you all for coming. Wax Stan's shoe has a hole in it. That's what I said. I swear the pole thing he attaches to their He killed himself. <laughs> Wait a minute. What has holes in its shoes and no fingerprints? Mabel, the murderers are standing <gasps> right behind you. <laughs> wax Sherlock Holmes. Wax Shakespeare. Wax Coolio? What's up, Holmes? Yo, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. and I said he could sell. Your uncle bought us many years ago at a garage sale. A honey garage sale, son. I must warn you, these statues come at a terrible price. Twenty dollars? I'll just take them when you're not looking. What? <laughs> I said I was gonna rob you. 
And so the Mystery Shack Wax Collection was born. By day, we would be the playthings of man. But when your uncle went to sleep, we would rule the night. Hey, I told you to stop that. Make me. <laughs> it was a charmed life for us cursed beings. We've been waiting ten years to get our revenge on Stan for locking ten us away. Ten years? But we got the wrong guy. They were trying to kill. Wow. So you were to murder Grunkle Stan for real? You were right all up. Take the candle. Burn me, bitch ass. Ooh. That's it. We can melt them with hotty melty things. Mm -hmm. and, we'll and we'll melt you into candles. Decorative candle. You. Ooh. Genghis Khan, you fell harder than the, uh, I don't know, uh, Jin Dynasty? <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, these one-liners ain't one-lining, y'all. <laughs> What's up with that? Zipper, watch out! <laughs> Come on, really though. Think you can outwit me, boy? I'm Sherlock Messing up the whole shack. Have you seen my magnifying glass? It's <laughs> I gotta pay for all these damages. <laughs> Damn. Any last words? Um, you got any sunscreen? Got any? What? Uh oh. <gasps> the sun came no. out. You know, letting me lead you outside probably not your sharpest decision. Outsmarted by a child in short pants. No! Fiddlesticks, humbugs. It's a total kerfuffle. What a hullabaloo. Case closed. <laughs> you sneeze like a kitten. Those people are right. You're adorable. Adorable! Hey, ew. Oh, look what we found. My head! <laughs> I missed this guy. You done good, kid. All right, line up for some affectionate nuggying. Uh-oh. Solve the case yet, Ma? I'm so confident you're gonna say no that I'm gonna take a long, slow <laughs> sip from my cup of coffee. The way he pulled out the cup. Actually, the answer is yes. <laughs> what the hell? They got scalded. So, oh, did you get rid of all the wax figures? I am 99 percent sure. Did they die? <laughs> Good So, you're a rat. Tell me about that. Hey, get back oh, here. Oh, man. I'm hopping. I'm hopping after a rat that stole my ear. Dipper, what do you think is better, sequence or llama hair? The llama hair. Thanks, Dipper. Now you know damn well that wasn't no damn Dipper. Boy. So it was the other wax figures. I don't know why I didn't think they were actually alive. Like, that was the obvious thing to do in this episode, and I didn't even think of that. I did notice that the wax figure did have a hole in his shoe, but I wasn't even putting two and two together. I thought he killed himself. <laughs> I thought he unalived himself because he didn't want to be with Uncle Stan no more. Like, he really didn't want to live this life, but it was really them. Were they haunted by the souls of the people that died? Or, like, just any random soul? Like, that's one question that was going through my mind. But I don't think everybody there was dead at the time that this episode came out. When did this episode come out? I'm going to look it up later. But um, yeah, yeah. If you want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the